Welcome back, you beauties. Thank you for choosing to spend your family day with us, your extended family. Yes. And the family is down from <laughs> Joburg's and Ellis here at the Cape Town Studios. We're loving every second. Mm. And of course, we are going to be delving into some entertainment news right now. Indeed. And the beautiful thing is that we're not doing it on our own. No, no, no. We have got the Queen Paula B in the building. What, what is the B for, Paula? My second name. Oh, mm -hmm. Paula B. Okay, it's not the B. Oh. I, thought, I thought it was for beautiful. But your face is your face is giving all sorts of little <laughs> winks, and, and you're giving off a different. I want to know what the B stands for. That is yeah. more spicy than that. So mm. um, this is going to be a big story. So I'm going to let you kind of delve into this one because <gasps> you are part of the beehive. Yes, um, I am. Yes, I think everyone's part of the beehive, but they just yeah. don't know that they are. Do you know what I mean? I think we're born part of the beehive because who wouldn't want to stand a woman? On this planet, yeah. Yes, exactly. She has been in the entertainment industry for 20 five years plus and she's still killing it because on Friday the 29th of March Beyonce released her first country album Act 2 Cowboy Carter which has a 27 song track list and it is the second part of the possible trilogy or series that began with Renaissance and look the album includes a collaboration with country music icon Willie Nelson on a song called Smoke Hour, a cover of Dolly Parton's classic hit Jolene, even Miley Cyrus as a featured vocalist on the track Two Most Wanted, and Post Malone is also featured on the track oh, Levi's boy. Jeans. Listen, uh, did you know that at the moment, the Two Most Wanted, the song by Miley Cyrus and Beyonce, they're saying it's heading for number one on the Billboard Hot 100. It'll make more money than anything has ever made, ever. Yep, yep. <laughs> ever. Yep. Now, can I just be the first? I'm hoping you're going to bring those pictures back up again because I yes. think the, the whole studio's jaw collectively just dropped. <laughs> um, I think it started with those photos. She looked at that out and she was like, I'm going to write an album so I can wear this outfit and I can take yes. these photos of the in this world. I, I won't say I'm part of the beehive in terms of me kind of latching onto every bit of entertainment news about Beyonce. I'm not like that hectically involved. I love her music because mm. she just sets the trend. She does. But this is, it's not like you get tornadoes in yeah. the entertainment world, then you get cyclones. In fact, you get those global superstorms. Yeah. yeah. We know with Beyonce, when she releases something, it's not just going to be a hit. It's going to change the course of the entertainment industry. Literally. Yeah. Literally. Uh, did you guys know that she's the reason we release music on Fridays? She no. started that trend, yeah? That was Beyonce. I now, other no artists idea. Have, to, have to phone her, or Jay, <laughs> and they say, do you mind if I release the song you on Friday? Okay. Like, you can release it on Friday, but that's it, okay? 100%. But, but what about you, Paula? Are you part of the behind? Look, I grew up listening to Beyonce. Mm -hmm. I mean, who didn't? Like, yeah, exactly. We all. Part of our life. So I'd say, like... Sort of nowadays. Nowadays. Sort of. I get it. Yeah. And, and don't you appreciate, guys, just like her revolution as an artist? Yes. I mean, going from doing R&B to doing the dance mm -hmm. that she did, or rather dance music that she did in Act One, to now doing country music. Yeah. It's, I think with her, it's about whatever she points herself at, yes. she will do at that level. It's at as simple as that. Yeah. Perfection. Oh, 100%. Oh, yes. I mean, and then speaking of perfection, look at how stunning she looks in these outfits for Cowboy Carter. I feel like it's just perfection after perfection. One of our she camera guys is, is even beautiful. like doing a little lasso. She even, she even <laughs> manages to be ironic with the way that she's taking the photo. Yes. Don't forget, there is an intellectual might 100%. that comes with this powerhouse. And mm -hmm. I think with her and Jay-Z kind of fighting out of the same corner, that they are... 80% of the entertainment industry, all, all due respect to everyone else. I just kind of feel like that's who they are. Yeah? Everyone always says that Beyonce is the celebrity to the celebrities. Mm. And this is why Tyler posted Beyonce having sent her flowers yes. for Get her out. debut album. Yeah. And on the note it said you can release it on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> but speak to Jay first. I love yes, it. So uh, well, let's hone in on that because we are so excited about everything happening in this incredible young woman's life mm -hmm. from international artists to uh, local uh, Tyler's self-titled album of course released on the 22nd of march it is already topping the charts yes. um, so it's a 14 track album featuring some powerhouse uh, collaborations we're talking about u.s rapper travis scott maybe that's where we just leave it uh, nigerian uh, singer um we've got thames we've got the sa i'm a piano artist calvin momo we've got becky g we've got Ghana. yes um and a lot of this speaks to yeah i know everyone had that face kid everyone had that face when they saw Tyler for the first time you're all right um but she is massive and according to sa hip-hop 24 7 tyler has broken the record for most top tens globally on itunes she is the first South African to do this as Woo! well. And ahead of the Easter weekend, she announced that she'll be doing a pop-up performance oh, at Mall of Africa. She cancelled her Coachella 
but she's coming back to South Africa to hit the Mall of Africa, Johannesburg, on the 2nd of April. Please don't be an April Fool's. Please don't be an April Fool's, No, it man. can't be. It no, can't massive. be. It's massive, huge. Massive, massive. And yeah. she's doing so well. Um, even at the moment now, she has surpassed, I think it's Burner Boy, because he was sitting at yeah. number one in terms of the most streams for an album in one week. She went above that. So she's, she's number one on the continent. 21. And she's 22 now. 22. But she's been working, yo. She's, she's been a, a singer-dancer so for a long time. She's yeah. been honing her yes, skills. Yes, yes. Does it surprise you? Because I think, especially when Ty speaks, we're all like, oh my word, girl yeah. is South African, as mm. South African as you can be. I yeah. know she is gorgeous, and a lot of people came after her for that saying she's just getting a free ride because she's there are a lot of beautiful girls out there. Yeah. A lot of beautiful men out there. That's not necessarily a stamp of approval. Mm. Her success and how quickly this has happened, does that shock you? Or is this a sense of finally our time as a country, I say our loosely, our, uh, our has come. But how do you feel about her meteoric ascension? Definitely one of those finally moments. And yes. I love that she adds I'm a piano in it. Oh, yes. it just gets right. Oh. Stunning, stunning. And the fact yeah. that she just never leaves home alone. I mean, even that line that everyone's saying now, like all of the celebrities were even quoting it, it's um, a pretty girl from Joburg. Yes. And, and, yeah, <laughs> they didn't know one, but now it's what they prefer. Yes. Yes, yes uh, my queen. Like everyone is using that. Yes. Lots of rolling eyes in Cape Town, I'm just saying right now, but <laughs> she's representing. But what I love is when she talks about herself, she says our. And yeah. We. And yeah. she's aware that she's only as strong as her backup dancers, who yeah. she puts in front of her. I'm just she is amazing like that. Oh, girl, thank you so much. So officially we now know that she's not a member of the Beehive. Okay, we managed to talk our way around that. Don't come after her. No, we're all members of oh the my Beehive, goodness. baby, especially with this new music. Uh, and I think we are all so proud of you. So proud of you, so proud of Tyler, so proud of every South African putting their hand I'm proud right of now. you, Greg. Oh, no, not as proud of I'm of you. <laughs>